Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric, another episode of our Unported Playlist series where we take a look at some of my favorite unported arcade games of all time. Today we're taking a look at Gaiaopolis, and I think I'm pronouncing that right. It is an action beat-em-up RPG that's running in vertical or tate mode, which is not something you see a ton of. It's a really interesting and pretty long arcade game that I absolutely love. Before we get too far involved, if you could do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like and subscribe, ring that notification bell, definitely helps us out. If you feel so inclined, we have a Patreon link down there as well. We're going to be selecting Fairy, and that's actually a character from Battle Trist, one of the 3DO M2 games that I've covered extensively on my channel, and in that game she's known as Eileen. So this game actually does have a slight tie-in to some of the 3DO M2 arcade games, which is just kind of a fun little aside. But as you'll see here, this game is really good looking and intriguing. It basically plays like a light RPG beat em up. And it's really interesting because there's not that many of them in kind of a vertical orientation. You'll see down at the bottom left we have a level meter and as we continue to play the game we're going to level up and become more powerful and that's definitely going to be really essential because later in the game some of the bosses are going to have multiple life bars you'll see here this boss just has one but as you get into the back third of the game some of those life bars are going to be x30 and you're going to have to reduce that life bar down by 30 times to be able to beat the boss so your leveling system and how you use your power-ups are really important in Gaiaopolis because if you don't level up correctly or if you don't manage your power-ups and different special moves, it's going to be really difficult to beat the game. And even with doing that, I will say, this is not the type of game that you're going to beat in one sitting at the arcade because it's going to take you a ton of credits. But this game actually has a password save feature where you can pick up and continue your game later on, maybe a week or two after you last visited the arcade. So Konami knew that you weren't probably going to beat this in one single play session, which is really interesting and also kind of begs the question why this didn't get ported home because it feels long enough to be a console release, especially because it has branching paths that you can go in different directions. Maybe it's just because the game really only still takes an hour to beat and that might be not long enough for a home release. But they definitely could have padded it out and given it to us. I can see this running on the Saturn and being a really popular game, but of course it's on the unported playlist, so it never got a home port, which is disappointing because I really enjoy this. Visually, it looks incredible. The first couple stages aren't the most visually impressive ever, but as we get into the back half of this game, you can tell that the art designers at Konami had a really fun job making this and put a lot of different visual flair in. And you'll see here now that we're onto a further boss, he has four times that life bar, and that's where the levels really come into play. Because you'll see we're at level six, and we just use one of our power ups, and we're able to burn one and a half of his life bars off. And you just have to continually manage your expectations as to how powerful you need to be to be able to progress further into this game. And I just really enjoy it because there's not a ton of RPG games in arcades. Some of the Dungeons & Dragons stuff on CPS2 have those elements, but it is kind of a rarer thing to check out. Now, as far as emulation is concerned, it runs near perfect. But you'll see those little black windows in the background. A couple really minor graphical elements are just missing from the emulation. It affects nothing as far as the gameplay is concerned, and all the stages look fine. It's just that map screen has a few little visual blips. But collecting this PCB is not cheap, so it's definitely something you're probably just going to be able to tolerate those because buying it is going to set you back a decent amount of money. And I really enjoy this game, but it's not one that I would probably add to my personal collection unless I was able to find it really cheaply just because there's other things at that same price point that I probably want more. But you'll see here as I attack the enemies, parrying and managing what's to your left and right is really important. If you change the direction of your arcade stick and press attack, you'll be able to parry the enemies behind you while also staggering the ones in front of you. So it does have a lot of different skill involved. And you'll see there I unleash that wolf attack, and that's going to allow you to really take a lot of meat off that boss's life bar. So what you really want to be doing throughout the stage is conserving all those specials, so when you get to the boss, you can reduce the time you're fighting him down, and you can keep your life higher. Because you'll see now we're leaving this area in level 9 with a full life bar, and we're upgrading to level 10. What I'll let you do is watch this next area from start to finish. The music and soundtrack in this game are great as well. I'll be back in about a minute and talk more about Gaiaopolis because it's a fantastic game that you should check out. But be right back.
Now, Kaya Opolis did technically come out on the Nintendo Entertainment System, but of course, you can clearly tell just by looking at this, it looks nothing like the arcade release, and it does change enough of the mechanics up that it really should just be considered a completely different game with the same name, so this definitely counts as unported. But I know a lot of people like noticing when things technically aren't imported and commenting about it, so I put the asterisks up and you can't get me. But I love this stage here. We have these gators coming out of the water. We have these squid-like alien creatures coming up from these pools of water and kind of blubbing their way, for lack of a better term, towards you. And like I said, the further you get in this game, the more interesting the graphics become. I kind of wish they had done a little bit more in the early stages to really hook you in, because it probably takes to about level five or six for this game to really get visually interesting. But when it does, it looks absolutely amazing. And I love the pastel color theme all the things they've done with the art, they're really interesting. You'll see there the sprites of the bosses, they kind of blow up. And this game looks great, especially for the year of its release. And like I said, if you like arcade beat-em-ups, if you like light RPGs, you're going to find a ton of interest in this game. And it is long enough so that you're going to actually be able to sit down for an hour and play this. And it does a lot of nice things with scaling. We jump down to that platform as well, and now we have this giant bundle of eyeballs that we have to fight. There's a lot of different character designs in this game. The bosses are incredible. We have this turtle with a character on his back. So you're not going to be constantly fighting the same enemies because here we have zombies that you can hack their torsos off of and they're still going to be coming at you to attack. It's just a simple pair of legs. The diversity in this game of things you're going to see are outstanding. And even the story elements, it's got enough story in it to make it feel like it was ready for a console release. You have these egg robot creatures here that kind of remind me of some things from different games. And God, I'm trying to think of the name of it right now. I just guess I forgot. But it's things that I've seen later on. And now that we're moving on to Gaiaopolis, the highway to it proper, these translucent backgrounds with all these colorful animations, the clouds moving past at different speeds, are just great. And in the beginning of every stage, you're going to get all these different power-ups that are going to help you. But these areas of the game look spectacular. And it just goes to show that you don't need a lot of graphical processing power to make something look amazing. Because if this game released today as like an Xbox Live Arcade game or a Steam game, it would run in a higher resolution. But if the art and animation and art style looked like this, it would definitely be lauded as looking amazing in 2021, let alone being a game from the 90s. And that's why I highly recommend checking Gaiaopolis out because it has everything I want in an arcade game. The controls are really fluid and everything feels nice to play. The parry mechanics, once you're playing the game well and understand it, it's really engaging and intriguing. The music is incredible for it. The graphics look outstanding and still hold up really well. And the fact that there's even a password feature, you don't have to beat this game in one sitting. Of course, with emulators, you could use save states, but you could just use the password system and play it like it was supposed to be played. And even here, at the final stage, we get this kind of 2001 Space Odyssey visual effect that looks like we're going into another dimension, and the final boss of the game comes out. You can tell that everyone at Konami that worked on this game really loved doing it, because they have put as much visual flair, as much story, and as much action in an arcade game as that you're ever going to get. And that's why it's just one of my favorite games to talk about on Unported Playlist because I never hear many people mention it and it's something that really deserves a lot of mentioning. And you'll see there with that special attack, we've released it a little too early, you need to be careful of your timing, but the boss has 60 life bars. But short of that, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love chatting with you guys. And if you could do me a huge favor, hit like and subscribe. Definitely helps us out. We'll be back next Sunday with an unported arcade game. We'll have videos on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday as well. But if you've never played Gaiaopolis, go play it now. See you next time. Bye-bye.